guys, it's Kelly. Thanks so much for joining me today. I need to apologize first about the video quality for the first couple of minutes. I'm not sure what happened. I don't know if there was something on the, the lens of my iPhone camera. Um, well, I use my iPhone to video, so I, I'm not quite sure what happened, but I left it in because you could still see the process and see what I was doing. So I apologize for that in advance. This is actually the second layout that I am making with the My Creative Scrapbook Kit Club. And the first layout is for a sketch challenge, so that will be done later on in the month. So this fringe paper is just one of my favorites. I have loved it and love that everybody has been cutting it with fringe and, you know, I'm going to go with that flow as well because it is just so cool and love, love, love this paper. You know, I keep saying with every collection that Maggie's had that it's, you know, my new favorite line of hers, uh, my new favorite line, but yeah, this is definitely one of them. So I am taking the pink side of the fringe paper as well, and I've decided that I want a second row of the fringe and the pink is going to go all the way across the paper layer. And I decided that I was cutting my fringe a little bit too um, too narrow. So I just, in putting one cut in between the two lines that is already there, I don't have uh, fringe scissors and I am trying to convince myself that I do not need to add them to my stash. So at this point I just wanted to trim up the layers or, or of the cuts just to make them a little bit straighter. I am going to ruffle up the edges and at one point I'm going to sew the top of it as well just for another extra layer of texture. So this picture is of my daughter when we were on vacation last year. There's a little marina that we love to get seafood at and I just put her on the dock and um, the sun was setting behind her and just lit up some of the grasses that were in the water and I just thought it was really pretty. So there's not going to be any major journaling with this. I just, you know, sometimes you just want to take a photograph that you love and make a pretty layout. So I was thinking that I was going to have a few different shades of pink and a little bit of yellow with the black. And so I wanted to go ahead and map my photo in it, but it doesn't happen. It Well, you'll see it, but I don't adhere it. And in the process of me not adhering it, I lost it. And I refused to cut another piece of that pink gingham paper, so I switched it to black. And um, it's crazy. How did I lose it? I just can't even tell you. It flipped over in my drawer, and I didn't see it. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to find it, and I can just use it on another layout. So I decided to use the Thicker Word Bloom as my title. Just loved the yellow color and it pulled out the yellow in the grasses in the photograph and that black uh, paper has a little bit of yellow so it just really all worked well together. So one of the things that I did when I first got my kit was I took the cut apart sheet and I went ahead and cut up all of the pieces and just put that in a little container just so that I could rifle through and know that I could use it as layers. The other thing that I did, and I'm going to be showing you in just a minute, is I took two different types of embossing glitter and made a few of my own embellishments. You know, it's, oh, so what I'm showing is that I cut out a few hearts, and that is one that I embossed. You can see on the back, you know, that I showed you. So I'm showing you the first one I used was the Zing glitter, and the second I put Wow glitter on top. So what I did was I embossed the Zing glitter, and while that was still hot, I sprinkled the Wow glitter on top of it, and then I heated it up again, and it made that really pretty gold um, heart. And I did that with a strip as well, so that I could use that as accents. 
So if you don't have gold paper, or if you don't have some of these embellishments that you can buy with this kit, you can make some of your own with some of the products that you might already have. So that was uh, one of my, you know, finds that I thought was really cool. So I decided I wanted to layer a tag behind the photo and I just put a little bit of the pink and white twine in the reinforcer. I don't always put twine or ribbon in my reinforcers on my tags, but I would probably say the majority of the time I do. Now I mentioned that this was my second layout that I did for or with this kit. So in the first layout, I made the heart that I'm going to be putting on the bottom right hand part of the photo. So I show how I make it in the first video, which will be my third video. So if you followed that, you were doing great. So I decided to switch out the pink gingham since I couldn't find it with the black and white gingham. And I actually love that look 100% more. It just, I think, works better than having the brighter pink. And I did, with the butterfly paper of this collection, I fussy cut a bunch of the butterflies and put those in with the cut aparts as well so that when I was ready to use them, I didn't have to stop and, you know, fussy cut them out. Although, what I will do is I will, at a little bit later time, I will go back out and clean up the edges a little bit. So at this point, I really feel like my layout's coming together. I liked my DIY heart. You can see the brown washi tape that I have to um, mm -hmm. reinforce the sewing that I did. I just pulled the loose ends through on the back. And I am going to pop it up on a piece of craft foam. I just love the way that came out. And um, we'll definitely be using that for more embellishments. So at this point, I'm just trying to go ahead and get things adhered. I am pretty close to the end. I'm liking the way that it came together. I love the colors. Maggie's collection is just exquisite. And I just want, you know, I have several sheets of some of these papers because they are just that pretty. So I decided at the last minute, instead of doing uh, sewing like I normally do, I just wanted to rough up a little bit of the edge with the Heidi Swap Distressor. And that is just an ever so slight detail that it's one of those details that you don't see until you really stop to look at the layout. And that is what I love about it. You know, sometimes for me, the fun part is adding these little details that you don't necessarily see on the first pass. So here is where I am just uh, trimming up some of the edges of the butterflies. And I decided to layer that butterfly to make it a little bit more dimensional and to add just another, you know, special something on the page. And I have found that when I have black and I want to finish off the edges of something that I have cut out, that this Tombow pen, or not, it's not Tombow, it's, you know what, y'all are going to laugh, but it's the company that, Sukineko, the TSU company, oh, I know that's crazy, but I don't know how to say that word, y'all. It is just not intuitive for me, so... Um, if you want to know what it is, I will link it up um, because I have no idea how to pronounce it. But I got it at Simon Says Stamp, and I love the way that it just helps color in the edges, and it just makes it look that much more finished, at least to me. So I'm going to go ahead and just have a couple, two butterflies on the page. I like to usually do things in threes, but I felt like with the heart on the right hand side of the photograph that I didn't need anymore. I love white space and I love color, but I really love it when I can find a balance that I like. And I really felt like that this layout, 
I had the balance with both and I didn't want to mess it up. I'm not sure where I just disappeared to. Oh, I know what I, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to pop up the butterfly, but because the foam was going to be in smaller bits, I will use my foam tabs instead of cutting up the craft foam. I love my foam tabs and I love my craft foam, but I just find that it's uh, easier for me to use the foam tabs under things that are smaller and more detailed. So again, I'm just cleaning up some of the edges of this butterfly and I will put the foam tabs underneath these wings as well, just because I want to make sure that they have that extra dimension. And that will pretty much do it for this layout. Thanks again for joining me and I will have a, another layout for my creative scrapbook back on a Wednesday schedule. I know this one was a little bit different because the reveal was yesterday, so um, it kind of makes it, it just set off my schedule just a little bit. So it'll be corrected. So the next three layouts will be on Wednesdays for me. And oh, the final thing that I do is I take some of these word phrases off the thickers and add those in a couple places on the layout. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day and I have some more videos coming up for National Scrapbook Day. So I will see you then. Take care. Bye. Thank you.